it is finally time to interview. All right, guys, what is going on? Lexi here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, I am going to be taking you on my very first residency interview. So I'm super excited. If you are new to this channel, first of all, my name is Lux, I'm a fourth year medical student applying to internal medicine. Um, and if you want more videos on tips on medical school or as a pre-med, how to study, how to manage your time, this channel is all about helping you through my successes and my failures throughout my four years in med school. So make sure you like this video, first of all, and subscribe to the channel as well as a notification bell and check out the rest of the channel to see what we have to offer you. Um, there's plenty of tips and people have been enjoying the content so far but I'm going to be putting videos on uh, on a weekly basis. But today is going to be me taking you on my very first residency interview. Obviously not going to tell you where it is but I'm going to tell you kind of um, what the um, days around it are like. So today is my day before my interview. So tomorrow is officially my interview day. Um, but if you're unfamiliar with the residency process, the way it usually works is the day before your actual interview day is usually a dinner. That's where you get to meet all the residents um, that are already part of the program. So you get to ask some of the very basic questions, which is, do you like it here? Um, what's your day like? Um, how often are you on call? Um, tell me about your experience. Um, how well do you get along with each other? You know, where do you live? How much does rent cost? Things like that. And that gives you a good like feel about the community, um, the personalities that are there and the opportunities as well, because that's probably where you're going to get the most honest opinion. And then the next day, so for me tomorrow is going to be my actual interview. So that's where I <laughs> kind of dress up in a suit with a tie and we'll take you guys there. So hopefully you guys like my outfit. Um, they're all like right here, by the way. So I haven't decided what I wanted to wear. So I have like five options and we'll go from there. Um, but I'll make my decision tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to head out actually in a few minutes, uh, have all my stuff packed. And because my first residency is within driving within driving distance, uh, I'm going to uh, save myself some money and not fly. So I'm going to drive myself to dinner. I'm going to pack all this stuff up in my car and I'll talk to you guys in a second. So as I'm getting ready, I thought about one of the questions that I had when I was kind of planning for this day. And one of them was like, what do I wear? Um, so to be safe, I'm just kind of in like a nice button up with some slacks. Um, see my guitar there. Uh, but yeah, so button up slacks, no tie or anything. And it's rainy here in Texas, so I'm gonna just have a jacket on. And that's gonna be my outfit. So nothing too crazy, but usually the programs will like let you know what the dress attire is. But it's better to dress up versus dress down, is my opinion. And then tomorrow, obviously, for interviews, you kind of have a suit and the whole galore. So suit and tie is all ready. So that's question number one. Question number two is like, what do you do to prep for an interview? And I made a video about this before, so I'll link it down below. But some of the things that I did is I made a nice notebook where the common questions that you're probably going to be asked on your residency interviews, um, not necessarily the dinner before, but interview tomorrow. And um, I kind of made a list of those and I'm going to be practicing my answers to those, at least coming up with different experiences that I could talk about. And then I have, um, I looked up the program. So you look up, you know, go on the website, see what they have, what do they think is important because that's what they're gonna put there on the website and uh, make some notes, make some questions that are curious, like, why do you like it? And I started to create uh, a Google Excel sheet. So it has all the programs. Um, it has, and I have columns for all the things that I value. So location, um, the personalities of the residents, as well as the quality of the training. And I have different columns where at the very end, so tomorrow, I'll just put my thoughts immediately after my interview date on those columns. So that way I have a nice, realistic impression of each program. So that's kind of how I prepped. I uh, just found some questions that I'm going to be doing um, tonight. Just kind of make sure my mind is going. Questions like, tell me about yourself. You know, what's the hardest experience you've had uh, in medical school? That way you're not caught off guard. And uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't do anything crazy to prep. I just kind of looked up the program, made sure I had some questions to ask the residents today, like authentic questions, things that I find interesting, and we'll go from there. But uh, I am going to quickly pack and then we are going to head out.
All right, guys, what is going on? So sorry for not um, recording yesterday, but managed to go to the interview dinner, um, met all the residents, really enjoyed it. Um, basically, as soon as I, I drove into town, uh, the residency dinner started. So today is the next day. Today is my interview day. I'm already dressed, as you can see, with the tie. Um, this is my lucky tie that I got accepted into my current institution with, so I'm just going to continue to wear it. I'm mostly at home all in interviews. Um, but it's about to be 7 o'clock, and the day usually for an interview day starts around that time, 7 or 8. Usually there's a breakfast. Um, the morning you kind of meet um, the faculty, including like your program director. You may get like a lecture or at least see what like a teaching component of the residency is like. Um, so we have morning report today, um, so that should be interesting and then we'll get a tour of the hospital the facilities and then um, usually on your interviews you have like two to three interviews so I have three today at my current institution um, that I'm at today and then you get to go home and your day ends around like 12 or 1 so I'm um, looking forward to it and I will see you guys after my interview and I'll tell you kind of my impression how it went and then uh, also kind of my system on how uh, I make sure I jot down my impressions. So I will see you guys after my interview. Wish me luck. Take care. All right, guys, what is going on? So I just finished my interview day. Um, had three interviews plus like tours and lunch um, throughout the day. So I am done. Feel a lot more relieved now, but it was a great program. I enjoyed what I saw. Um, and kind of at this point of the stage, what I want to do is I have an Excel sheet where I am putting every bit of information on like my uh, impressions of the school. So how did I get along with the residents? How did I get along with the attendings that I met? That's really something, at least for me, that's really important because I'll be working with these people if I choose to go here. So how long, how well do I think I'll be able to get along with them? What did I think of the program? Uh, what did I think of their curriculum? If I want to do like further training later on and go do a fellowship in like cardiology or oncology, uh, would I have the options to do it here? And so just being able to answer all those questions, literally I just put a check mark or like a yes or a no in my Excel sheet. And then any notes that I have, so like I would write, oh, I really enjoyed this about this program or like this uh, didn't feel so quite right. Um, putting all those notes in Excel sheet, that way when I have to make my decision and like put my rank list, I can look at each of these things and look at my initial impressions and then look back and then realize what's the most important. So I'm going to make sure that the impression I have right now, which is currently fresh, I put that onto paper or Google Doc, I guess, and then we'll go from there. But that is my residency, uh, first residency interview video. I'm, I know it's not a long video, uh, but that's kind of what the process is like. Yesterday I had the pre-interview uh, dinner and today I had um, a morning kind of uh, lecture. So it was like a morning report, kind of see what the education part of the residency is like. Um, we had a lecture presentation given by the program director then we had tours of the the facilities um, as well as the nearby area to see kind of where people live that's also important and then finally we just had uh, our interviews which are important and we had lunch with um, fellow residents and faculty members so it was, it was a nice um, short you know nothing too extensively long but I feel like I got the information I needed got my questions answered and hopefully I put an impression that they're happy with. So we'll go from there. But uh, more interviews are coming in, more interviews are being scheduled. So uh, it's gonna be a busy next couple of months, but that's the process. Usually interview season goes up to, at least in internal medicine, all the way up to like mid January. And right now it's the start of October. So it tells you kind of how long the process goes. Usually by the end, people are starting to like get tired out. Uh, but right now I'm excited and enjoying the process. So uh, we'll go from there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. As I go through my residency process, including interviewing at other places, as well as um, creating my rank list and going to the match, I'm gonna make, be making more videos on the process. So hopefully you guys follow me on my journey. Um, obviously more tip videos are coming back to you. Um, so make sure you check those out throughout the channel, but make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will stop babbling like I always do. And I will see you guys later. Take care guys.